What's the maximum amount of people you've bonked in one day? 22. That was at spring break. Wow. Okay. That was a sore night. Oh, yes. That's yeah. exhausting. <laughs> so can you talk yeah. us through that? Like what happened? How was that set up? Yeah, so I basically shared my hotel room online. Yeah. So I was like, look, this is the room I'm staying in. Like just come and queue up. And I'll see as many of you as possible, like whilst I'm here. Because when I went to spring break, loads of guys was like, "Oh, I've, you know, I've messaged you to film with you," and I couldn't get through like all of the messages. Like, yeah. And I've said before, like I've only got so many holes and so much time. Like, <laughs> I physically could not film with everyone I wanted to. Mm-hmm. So on the last night, I was like, right, I'll just let them queue up. I'll just go one after the other. Yeah. And that's basically what I did. And so, how long from start to finish did that all take? So I think I put the post at about six p.m their time and like we finished it must be like 4 or 5 a.m um <gasps> what? That's yeah insane. and it was so funny because like during the videos you hear people knocking on the door like you hear like other groups of lads outside waiting yeah was there like a queue outside the hotel? yeah let's all congratulate this 304 she took 22 eggplants in one night and she's proud of it like what what happened to shane seriously we are living in a time where folks are out here bragging about their past like some sort of twisted badge of honor. This woman really said this with such pride and somehow that's supposed to be a flex. What a world we live in now. When they're losing all sense of self-respect becomes something to be celebrated. There is absolutely nothing empowering about this. I don't care what society tells you. That's just nasty, for real. The funny thing about this is today society wants to convince you and I that her past don't matter. Yeah, okay. Imagine this being your wife and you see this video. This is why it is very crucial to check the whole facts. If you buy a car, you check the car facts. So if you meet a woman, check the whole facts and save yourself a lot of trouble and time. And people really forget digital footprint is real. This video will hunt you later down the line when you decide to change your ways. I just can't wait till she says all men are trash when she can't get an idiot to marry. I know her dad somewhere watching this and shaking his head saying to himself, man, I really messed all the way up with this one. And I said, man, I would be damned if I have so little self-respect to be a part of something like that. Like, how horny do you have to be to participate in something like this? But it's 2024, so I'm not really surprised. I really pray for the next generation of kids who are going to have parents like her. They will not have a fair chance at life. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.